Numerical Computation, Chapter 7, Video 2. We now look at an example using Jacobi iterations on a 3x3 three three system. Okay. This is just a case study. The method actually should be applied to a much larger system and done by a computer. We go through this example to show our understanding of the method and to observe how it behaves. So we notice that um, this system here is tridiagonal and it's diagonal dominant where the diagonal element is big and also um, we actually can easily find the exact solution which is 1, 2, 2. You can easily plug in and verify x equals to x1 is 1, x2 is 2, x3 is 2. So we start by um, finding an initial guess for our iteration and we will use the smart choice since this is a diagonal dominant system. So let's say um, the i-th initial guess is computed by the right hand side divided by the diagonal element. So this gives me um, 0, that's 0 over 2, and that's 1 over 2 gives me a half and 2 over 2 gives me 1. So here is the iteration. So for equation 1, I keep the diagonal element on the left and move everything else to the right. And then on the right-hand side, this becomes x at level k, and the left-hand side becomes at k plus 1. And we... Okay. So with the iteration set up, we can perform it as many times as we want. So let's see, um, for a couple of iterations, let's look at what we get. So if you put in x0 on the right hand side, and this is the x1 you get, 0 0.25, 1, 1.25. And uh, one more iteration, I get 0 0.5, 1.25, 1 1.5. And one more iteration, I get 0 0.625, 1 1.5, 1.625. So we observe that it does look like it's converging to the value um, 1, 2, 2. They are increasing. Um, but we really need to run more steps to be sure, because only three steps, it cannot really tell. And we also observe that if it really converges, it doesn't look like it's converging very fast, so this looks like it's really slow. But anyway, since we know at each iteration the number of operation is very small, so each step is actually very cheap to compute, so we can easily afford running many, many more iteration steps. Okay, so that's all for Jacobi's method so far, and next time we will look at some improvement based on that. See you then.